Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, I want to show off uh, just a fun circuit I made, a, a prototype for a, a RFID door lock. Um, some of you guys may know that I'm very poorly mechanically inclined, and uh, I love electronics, but uh, when it comes to mechanical stuff, I'm not very good. Uh, I rely on my glue gun a lot, as you can see from my solenoid here. Anyway, we have uh, my RFID Model 3. Easy RFID module, easy to program, no, uh, standalone, don't need your PC, you just need four 125 kilohertz cards, which which the module comes with, can be found at engineeringshock.com. Uh, you use a certain code to program in, uh, like a, a sequence of, of uh, button presses to put it into programming mode. I'll be putting a video up after this showing you how to use it, very easy. Anyway, I've got four relays that correspond to four inputs, so I've programmed in four cards. When I use... Uh, card two, the uh, the solenoid will will uh, turn on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my card, place it in front of the antenna, and what's going to happen is the solenoid is going to pull the latch open for five seconds. So let's try it, and then it'll release automatically after five seconds. There we go. Door unlock. Door lock. Now I have a a, a uh, standalone RFID model 2 that doesn't have uh, relays. It's got outputs that go high for 0 0.5 seconds uh, and that can be used with uh, with an external circuit that can have a feedback uh, a feedback sensor. So you open the door. As soon as you close it again that feedback system goes back to your PIC which is interfaced with your RFID module and says okay Feedback found, doors closed, lock it again. Whereas this one only locks for four, unlocks for five seconds. But I think it's pretty neat. Easy to put together. I just have a 12 volt solenoid here with a spring on it. Takes a uh, fair bit of current. The solenoid takes about 750 milliamps at 12 volts. This device takes less than 100 millivolts, or I'm sorry, milliamps. And uh, I've just used a dollar store box here just to demonstrate. I'll do it one more time, and I'll uh, I'll try to zoom in on this. So pay close attention to right here because this would be where your door separates from the wall. So program card. There's an empty space there, as you can see. Now if I use another card, I've got this programmed as another output. So you heard the click. Uh, that was another relay because I've got four cards here programmed to activate four different relays. Now, if I use a card that's unrecognized, just a random 125 kilohertz card, you can see on the board the LED, uh, RFID LED saying, "Okay, we accept something," but it's not programmed into memory. Now, this module has an onboard EEPROM, so even after I turn it off and turn it back on again, the card data you've saved will stay there forever. It'll stay as long as, and you can reprogram it as many times as you want. So if you've got different RFID cards, as long as they are uh, 14 kilohertz, it'll work. So what I'll do is, uh, if I feel so inclined, I'll recreate this and put it on my lab door, and I'll show you. But right now, what I'll do is, I'm going to end this video, and I'm going to make another video showing you how to use the RFID module. So thanks for watching, guys.